We got way too many YouTubers on the platform talking about the problem and offering no solutions. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. Have you ever wondered why I said that? If you're a subscriber to this channel, have you ever wondered why I always say we talk about the problem but focus on the solution? I have a laundry list. I might do a whole series about the numerous reasons why I say this. But anyways, before I get into this rant, if you are new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. Helping you out with your mental health, helping decrease the stigma, increase awareness, and all that kind of good stuff. So I just got done watching the new Bobby Burns video. And like, I want to start off by saying like, I like Bobby. I hope the best for him. I hope things get well. Um, like he, if you don't know who he is, he was handed the golden ticket by Shane Dawson. His channel exploded. He tried to do some videos that didn't really work. He took a little hiatus. He made a video about his mental health and just all this anxiety. And like, I do appreciate that Bobby is taking time to talk more about mental health and talk about these things. But again, we're talking about the problem and that is an issue. So I do appreciate that he's doing that. And like, here's the reason why I think it's a good thing. There's so many people, so many people who are like, I wanna be a YouTuber, I wanna be a YouTuber and things like that. And like, a lot of people don't understand what it's like to be at the top, okay? Once you start getting to the top of that mountain, like it gets more stressful. It you get more anxiety and everything like that. But in this new video, he talks about anxiety on YouTube. And here's the thing. Here's the reason why I got a rant about this, you guys. All right, so not only am I an advocate for mental health, but I also work in a mental health treatment center, okay? This is for people with mental illness as well as addictions. Now, I am a recovering drug addict and alcoholic. When I got clean six years ago, I had no money, no insurance, nothing. I was not able to get any type of treatment unless it was state funded and state funded treatment isn't all that great and i had to bust my butt in order to get clean and sober and fix my mental health my anxiety my depression my childhood traumas all that stuff i had to do that on my own without the help of professionals on a day-to-day -day basis i talk to so many people who are trying to go to a rehab because they, they can't overcome their addiction. They think they need rehab and they don't have any money. They don't have any insurance. I have other people who tell me that they need to see a therapist. They need to see a psychiatrist. They need to do these things, but they don't have any money. They don't have any insurance. And for me, it is just this huge slap in the face when I see these big YouTubers who are just constantly talking about the problem and I never once see them say, I'm seeing a therapist now. I got a therapist. Like, I've watched Bobby Burns for a while and he has videos of him, he's like, we're getting two new MacBooks or here, here's us spending $1,000 to, to uh, show what it's like to be a YouTuber. And like, he's had like two different places in Los Angeles and he's traveled back and forth from Los Angeles to Tennessee. Dude's got money. The dude has money. I don't know if it's his money. I don't know if it's parents' money. I'm sure that some of his videos, like the one where he spent $1,000, that might've been a sponsorship deal, so that might've been their money that he was using for the purpose of the video. But the point I'm getting at is, he's got money. And then the other guy, Johnny, that he did the video with, the dude has almost a million subscribers. Dude has money. And it's like, I, like I said, I just, it breaks my heart knowing how many people would just kill to have the resources, to have the resources to get help. Whenever my clients in my treatment center are acting very entitled or ungrateful, I'm like, you guys need to think about this. There are thousands of people outside of these walls who would give their leg to have the opportunity to be in here. So that's my issue, okay? Like, there's this really bad false narrative over on YouTube, like whenever a YouTuber talks about mental health, people are like, we don't talk about mental health enough on, on YouTube. Okay, let me tell you this. As a mental health channel who looks into SEO, search into engine optimization and which keywords to target and things like that, when I look at them, like literally every major YouTuber has talked about anxiety, depression, or mental health as a whole. They all have. When they get bored, they're like, you know what? I'm going to talk about mental health. Let me rephrase that. Not when they get bored, but when they're going through it. Like, every YouTuber has done it. I don't know what this myth is. I don't know what rock everybody's living under where they're like, YouTubers never talk about mental health. Like, all of them do. All of them do, okay? Now, 
one of the reasons I, I respect Philip DeFranco, so Philip DeFranco works uh, works with BetterHelp, just like I do. So he provides an affiliate link down below, so if you wanna try BetterHelp, it's down below. But anyways, like Philip DeFranco, he talked about like on the H3H3 podcast about how he was dealing with a lot of mental health issues and emotional struggles, and he started seeing a therapist. He started meditating. He was talking about the solution. So whenever he pitches BetterHelp on his videos, he talks about how he uses BetterHelp. He sees a therapist. You know why? Because he has the money and funds to do so. So it kills me when I see these YouTubers who are just like, yeah, this is really stressful and, and I, I have a lot of anxiety, but I'm not doing anything about it. I'm like, what? What? What are you doing? And now I don't want to project anything. I don't want to assume anything, but in Bobby's new music videos, things like that, like he shows like weed, right? And I don't know if he's using that for his anxiety or self-medicating. Um, I, I won't get into my opinions on that, but like, my main point is, is like, if you got the resources, if you got the money, like, just think about that for a second. I know it's hard to ask for help. I know it's hard to go get help, but like, we can only complain about the problem so much until we do something, okay? Like, even though I'm all about mental health awareness, like, talking about it doesn't do anything. Like, it makes you feel a little bit more connected, it helps you realize that you're not alone, but there's still issues that you gotta deal with, and a lot of times, that comes in the form of help. And if Bobby just simply said like, you know what, I don't wanna do therapy, but I've been meditating every day, or I don't wanna meditate, but I've been reading these books about anxiety and learning different coping skills, and all, like, just do something something brother but anyways like this isn't just about bobby and other youtubers like it's about all of you too like don't take for granted the opportunities that you have like like i said maybe it's just because i work with underprivileged people all the time or people who have destroyed their lives because of their mental health issues and they don't have those opportunities so like i want to be a voice for them like they wish they can do this stuff so if you have the opportunity like if you even have five dollars go buy a book on mental health. Like I do as much as I can here on YouTube. I'm at about 400 videos, so I try to provide all of you with as many tools as possible, but I don't want you watching my videos passively. I want you to start practicing the things that I am telling you, all right? Because there comes a point where we start to get even more depressed. We're like, why doesn't anybody wanna talk to me anymore? And the reality is, and I had to realize this about my own mental health, like nobody wants to hear me just sit around whining and complaining about my mental health issues until I'm doing some work. Until they see me actually trying. Like if I said, hey, like, you know, my depression's been really bad. I don't know what's going on. I've been meditating and it's not working. You know what I mean? At least people see an effort there. But if I'm just sitting there talking about it, I don't get the kind of sympathy that I'm looking for. And I really I really hope that clicks for you. I was I was thinking about making a video this weekend about all the excuses we make not to help ourselves. And I know it's tough, I know it's hard. I've been in the lowest pits of depression, but we gotta do something. We gotta take one step forward, one day at a time and do something. But anyways, this isn't a malicious video at Bobby, even though like I get really passionate about this stuff. Like Bobby, I think is doing better. I appreciate what he's doing with his channel. I'm not a fan of his music, but I think He's finding himself again and being a little bit more artistic and things like that. Um, like I actually tweeted out something the other day that I really thought he made a really good video. Um, so I, I know he is getting a little bit better and like I said at the beginning of this video, I appreciate that he's trying to bring other YouTubers on and talk about this stuff. Like for me mostly that's just for anybody or any children out there who are like, I wanna be a YouTube star someday. Like they kind of see like there's some stuff there's some stuff that comes along with it, all right? So my suggestion, if I have a young audience out there, anybody who's trying to become a YouTuber, start working on your mental health now. The more resilient you become, when you get to that point where you blow up, when it happens, because you're, you're gonna do the hard work to get there, when you get to that point at the top of the mountain, your mental health will be stable enough so you can deal with all of the added pressures that come, all right? But never, ever, ever think that some number on YouTube or Instagram or Twitter is ever going to make you feel whole inside, it might just make things worse, all right? But anyways, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just really felt like I had to make this video, so if you like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I'm always making videos about mental health, so feel free to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and again, a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. And if you wanna check out some of my other mental health videos, you can click or tap on one of those thumbnails right there. All right, see you next time.